Hello and welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we will understand different types of economic integration. Now, economic integration plays an important role in order to grow the GDP of a particular country at a higher pace. So, what countries have been doing since past, we can say since past 200 years, especially in the formal structure, countries are making unions. And these unions play an important role, especially in the international trade. Now, in international trade, we have certain theories called the theories of trade diversion and trade creation. So, trade diversion and trade creation are associated with the concept of economic integration. Now, economic integration are of different different types. The first one is free trade agreement or free trade area. Now, in this particular, suppose there are four or five members. Suppose, for example, there are five members and this is the hypothetical example. If we have five members, free trade area means these countries are having their groupings and they are trading with each other without any tariff. Here tariff means the taxes on imports and exports that countries are putting. Suppose India is importing something from Bhutan, they are putting taxes. If India is exporting certain goods and items to uh, Nepal, then Nepal will impose certain kind of taxes on Indian goods. But if we have South Asian free trade agreement, for example, it means there is no tariff whenever we are trading with the countries of that particular free trade area or the agreement membership. Now here the example is South Asian free trade agreement, North American free trade agreement, where we have Canada, US and Mexico. So there are several other examples where countries are trading without any tariff. The second one that we have is known as custom union. Now, if we think about the free trade area, there were five countries in my example. Now, in these five countries in the free trade area, if suppose they are trading with a non-member, suppose the sixth one. So it means suppose, for example, India is this and India is trading with suppose other country called Japan. Now, in the free trade area, India has been removing all the tariffs. So there is no tariff among these nations. But when India is trading with other countries, non-member countries, India can put any kind of tariff or any value of tariff. Now, this another country can also do the same. But there must be some different different rates. But in the custom union, all the members, whenever they are trading with the non-members, they are having same amount of tariff. So it means that in a custom union, if India is trading with Japan, the tariff rate is 10%, then Bangladesh, Bhutan and other country will also trade at the same percentage rate or same percentage tariff rate. So this is a major difference where in the free trade area, each country of that free trade agreement is having different different tariff, uh, tariff structure while trading with the non-member. But in the custom union, these countries are having one important rate that is, whenever they are trading with non-member, they will put tariff at the same percentage. Now, the third one that we have is known as the common market. Now, in the common market, this goes beyond the custom union. In the common market, we have the mobilization of labor and capital as well. So, in the common market, it means, suppose these are the five countries in the common market. Here means the people, the labor from one country can go to another country with seamless border. It means there is no hurdle. Like for example, the European Union. So European Union previously and right now also is having the, the called as the common market where the labor from Germany can work in France without any restriction. So this is what we call the common market. And the fourth one is economic union. Now economic union goes beyond the concept of common market. In economic union, Apart from the seamless movement of labor and capital, countries also integrate or collaborate on the level of monetary policy, fiscal policy and the other tax policies as well. So in economic union, the perfect example is European Union, where they have common monetary policy as well, controlled by European Central Bank. And they have also their own currency known as Euro. So that is the best example for economic union. And these are the four types of economic integration present in international trade scenario or international economics. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe Ecoholics. 
Apart from this, if you want, if you have any doubt in your mind, you can solve your all your doubts for free on our mobile app. You can download our mobile app from the description of this video. Apart from this, you can visit our website www.ecoholics.in for more information regarding the courses that we offer. Like for example, Indian Economic Service, Economics Optional, UGC NET Examination, RBI Grade B, DEPR, and other examination like PG Entrance, DSC for JNU, IG, IDR, etc. So for more details, you can visit and you can always contact on uh, directly to me on my contact number given in the description. So hope to see you soon on Ecoholics app. Apart from this, if you like these kind of initiatives, these kind of videos, don't forget to share this video with your friends. It would be very helpful for them. So hope to see you there. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.